Together we can restore degraded land. This video covers the final phase of Rome, results to recommendations. By this stage in an assessment, you have already collected data and run a series of analyses to create a good impression of the opportunities for forest landscape restoration in your assessment area. Now is the time to present preliminary findings to a wider group of stakeholders and experts to validate the results and develop recommendations for follow-up actions. This step ensures that your products have credibility and impact with a successful assessment leading to the development of national or sub-national restoration action plans. The Validation Workshop Phase 3 mainly involves hosting a validation workshop with senior-level government staff, leading national experts and other important stakeholders like leaders from indigenous communities, farmers' unions or financial institutions. This is often most easily accomplished through one workshop held in a central or capital city. The composition of this workshop will be very similar to the inception workshop at the start of phase one. At the workshop, you will want to present your findings in a clear, compelling way, avoiding details but rather focusing on major findings. You want to facilitate discussion about your results and you should allow the participants to challenge your assumptions. Ask them to raise concerns, request clarification on confusing issues, and point out relevant work that you missed or refinements you could make. You may even consider presenting different sets of results based on different assumptions. If your findings are sufficiently advanced, the validation workshop may be the right time to facilitate discussion among your stakeholders for what comes next. What are the critical steps needed to turn the findings from the assessment into restoration action on the ground? Local or regional surveys. If you have time and resources, you may choose to follow your high-level validation workshop with a survey of local or regional government officials. This can help you find out whether people responsible for overseeing or implementing restoration on the ground agree with your high-level recommendations. Ideally, you will be able to share your key conclusions with this audience and ask them to rank your recommendations in order of importance and ease of implementation. Electronic surveys are the best for this step. Where internet is lacking though, you may consider holding small local workshops. When you have completed your validation workshop and local surveys, you should have a valid and compelling set of products that can guide restoration activities in your assessment area for years to come. So you've finished your engagement of stakeholders, your analytical work, and your validation phase. You're all done, right? Wrong. Rome doesn't stop with the development of strategic recommendations. The results of your work need to be disseminated, not just to those who participated in the process, but also to key decision makers across the country. Ideally, your validation workshop will put restoration on the national agenda, but you now need to work closely with restoration champions who can help move forward the policy, legal, and institutional changes recommended by the assessment. These champions will be the ones to feed the assessment results into other national level initiatives and processes. Ideally, now you will move forward with your strategic partners to set in motion the next step, real restoration on the ground. Depending on your assessment area, a good next step could be a more local assessment to support landscape level designs of restoration, pilot projects and sites. By now you've taken the first step towards bringing health and vitality back to degraded lands. Restoration plans can contribute to national goals and important international commitments. The results of your analysis may even help define a commitment to the Bond Challenge, the largest restoration initiative the world has ever seen. If you are considering conducting an assessment or have already completed one, we want to hear from you. Consider joining the Learning Network of the Global Partnership on Forest Landscape Restoration to share your experiences or consider contacting the Global Partnership through IUCN, its Secretariat. Together, we can turn a degraded planet into a vibrant, productive one again. <laughs>